the Babraham Institute in Cambridge undertakes world-leading research into understanding the biology of how our bodies work, including what changes as we age and during disease. Two years ago, we were investigating the epigenetic clock, a tool which measures the effect of ageing. We're trying to understand how your DNA affects how you age. DNA is the code containing all necessary information for life. All the cells in your body contain the same DNA code. But how do they become all the different cell types in your body? Not only do they know what to become, also how to behave. This is achieved by small chemical tags that attach to the DNA and switch stretches of DNA bases called genes on or off. This process is known as epigenetics. By switching genes on or off, it allows cells to specialise for different functions. This process does not alter the DNA sequence itself. DNA methylation is one of the epigenetic processes that switches genes off without changing the underlying DNA sequence. DNA methylation is essential for the healthy growth and development of cells in mammals. Researchers at the Babraham Institute identified an epigenetic clock in mice which predicts a mouse's biological age based on their epigenetics. This can tell researchers if a mouse is aging in a healthy way. By using the epigenetic clock, we can learn about factors that influence the speed of the aging process. That was two years ago. Now we are investigating the epigenetic clock in human skin cells and winding back the age of those cells by decades. This winding back process, called reprogramming, involves converting skin cells step by step back into stem cells, which resemble very early embryos. What is unique about this process is that the age of cells goes down. So you can start off with adult cells, and as you turn them into stem cells, their age resets to zero. While stem cells are very interesting cells, they don't have the functionality of the cells we began with. But by stopping the reprogramming process after a few days, we found that the cells could still go back to being functioning skin cells, but were now younger. The cells we used in our experiments initially came from a 55-year-old donor, but after the reprogramming process, the cells were 30 years younger. These results open up some very interesting possibilities for cell rejuvenation, especially for applications like skin grafts. Imagine taking cells from a patient and rejuvenating them so that they might be more functional and useful. Many major illnesses, including cancer, diabetes and heart disease, become more common with age. By understanding ageing, we can lay the foundations for ways to revitalise ageing systems in our bodies, which could greatly reduce the number of cases of diseases like these and many others. The Babraham Institute. Share the discoveries. Find out more online.